of our pedagogy, we've been um, using a few different tools to collect formative assessment data within a lesson. If collected quickly and effectively, this kind of data actually serves to give some feedback to the teacher on how the lesson is progressing towards a learning intention and can also help the teacher to identify students who might need a little bit more support during the next phase of the lesson. Today I'll have a hinge question that I'm going to put to the students after the modelling and sharing phases of the lesson um, based on our focus concept this week which is division. Okay, the tool that we're using today is called Plickers and it's basically an app that scans codes. Each, each student is assigned an individual code that can be oriented in four different ways, um, A, B, C or D, and that corresponds with the answers that I will put to a multiple choice question. That gives me some pretty instant feedback, which I can then use, I share with the learning support teacher, and we look at which students might need a little bit more scaffolding during the next phase of the lesson. After we're finished exploring a topic, we do a diagnostic assessment. Students use the diagnostic to set learning goals. So this student has three learning goals to set on money. From this diagnostic assessment, you can see, you can, in the success criteria, you can see the ones that I've ticked are the ones that I got right, and the blank ones that I, they are the ones I've got wrong. Well. Students have the opportunity to work on learning goals in math workshops and rotations. Once we have some time to work on our um, gaps, we, get, we do another test. Okay, so our summative assessments align very closely with our diagnostic assessments and collecting data in this way allows us to review that data as a cohort and it drives some pretty interesting conversations about our practice. We're able to reflect on our practice retrospectively and also look at, our, um, look at the data in terms of um, planning our next steps and we do that in review and response meetings. So this student had set three learning goals on the concept of money and you can see on the midterm test she has achieved those goals. So after they achieve the goals, they can take their name tag off the learning wall, pop it on a sticky note and put it on their goal achieved chart. These are two of the assist criteria from here that, that I had to work on, on the good learners chart. And then once I achieved it, I put it on the goals achieved chart. In our class, if we feel like we've accomplished a learning goal, we put it in Book Creator. When I first started learning about division, I rated myself a two out of four. This is my reflection. Before Mr. Mitchell taught me how to do division, I didn't know how to do division. So the week for learning division, I have strategies like using a number line, multiplication grid, turnaround, and words that you need like share, each, and divided by. I rated myself a two because sometimes I got confused with div division. After I rated myself a three because now I can do it fast and by myself. 